All right, if there is one thing Kansas City knows we can all agree on, it's barbecue. Uh, yeah, that's why Kansas City is home to the American Royal World Series of Barbecue. It's happening this weekend at the Kansas Speedway, and that's where we find Matt Evans this morning. What's going on, Matt? Well, this is the barbecue capital of the world each and every day, every year, but it's really the barbecue capital of the world today because the American Royal World Series of Barbecue is right here, the biggest barbecue competition in the world that brings together teams from all across the country, all across the world to compete to see who's got the best cue. And one of the guys competing is going to be Richard Fergola from Fergalicious Barbecue in Gardner, Kansas. Uh, Richard, this is something that you take, this trailer that we're standing on right now, all around the country to do all these competitions. Take us through what it's like to be able to, to do this each and every weekend. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to begin. Uh, a lot of time away from your family, but um, you know, it's a great experience. You get to meet people from all over the country, uh, all different walks of life, uh, all different regions of barbecue. You know, being from Kansas City, we all think Kansas City is the best, but uh, you know, I compete in Texas, I compete in Georgia, I compete in Florida, you know, I compete uh, in Nevada. Uh, it's awesome. You know, you have your trailer, you back in, you're ready to go. Um, and so this is just another contest to us, even though it's the largest contest in the world. So, Right. Take us through a little bit about what's in there. I mean, you've got a whole, uh, a whole what would look to be like a restaurant kitchen in this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I got a full mobile kitchen in here. Got the three-bay sink, the hand-washing sink. I got a fridge. Um, I can pop my bunk beds up so I can sleep. I got a whole prep table. Uh, so everything that I need to do a barbecue competition is right here in this trailer. And so we get everything done in here and everything's cooked out here on our smoker. And uh, it's just, it's, it's super convenient. Uh, gets you out of the elements if it's raining or it's cold or it's hot or whatever, you can come into the AC or come into the heat. Uh, and it's just a game changer when you're doing a competition, so you you know you can take care of all your business. Yeah, let's let's go down to this smoker here and uh, show you a little bit of uh, so the folks what you're cooking up. You know, we saw that whole hog uh, earlier. I mean, that thing is. Uh, I mean, how do you even start with cooking one of these things? I mean, what what's even the process like? Uh, you know, so when you get the hog, you gotta you gotta do a couple things. You gotta get the you gotta get the backbone broken open so that you can spread open the hog and get the belly open. Uh, do a little bit of minor trimming, uh, and then basically we inject this hog with a with an injection like a pork injection, just to pump up the hams and the shoulders and the and the loins and the bacon and all that stuff so that it has moisture in there. And then once we do that, we hit it with a little bit of my rub, a little bit of my sweet rub, and then just let that that guy sit for a little bit. And then we flip them over into running style so that we can put it on the cooker. And then then, then it's just time. And then it is. Do you, you mind popping it open there yeah, for us? We can take a look at it. So this is this is what it looks like whenever you uh, roast a whole hog in a smoker. It takes up almost every inch in there. Oh yeah, and, and we we nicknamed her Shanene. So right. she, you okay. know, we, she's it's Shanene. <laughs> and this is a water cooker, so you can see there's water down in the bottom of this, so that you add moisture to the cook, and it balances the heat out, uh, so that you don't overcook one end over here or one end over here. Um, and just these are these are great cookers. We sell these in our store, uh, Casey Grilling Company. But yeah, I mean the, you can the skin skin's gotten hard and now you know, when we open that we can take a knife and we can cut that open and just reach right in and get meat oh man that's that's the way to do it that's the way to do it yeah yeah and that's part of the party tonight and of course you got a big yeah. competitions coming up this weekend yep. you're competing in both the invitational and the open so best of luck to fergalicious yes, barbecue thank you, thank you so much for talking to us today you richard you. You and uh, we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio from the world series of barbecue here at the kansas city speedway matt how hungry are you right now <laughs> I'm drooling a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, I imagine. Bit. Hey, Matt, I got a question for us amateurs like me, question for Fergalicious. If we want to try and get a finished product, like was it Shanene? Yeah, Shanene. What, what, what is his advice for us kind of beginning amateur barbecuers? They got, they got a question for, Fer, for Fergalicious. This is now your name, so just so you know. Uh, Everybody calls me Fergie. There you so. go. All right, so Fergie, yeah. uh, the anchors back at the station want to know what's the best way to get the, the perfect shenane like you've got in there for an amateur at home if they want to try to do something like this. Uh, again, it's, it's all about understanding the time and temperature. So uh, when you're cooking pork, you got to know what that internal temp is done when it's done. And so like with this, we're going to take it to about 200, about 202 degrees. And some people will be like, you really go to that detail. Yeah, if, if it's at two, 202, then it's done. We let it rest, and then you've got that perfect tenderness. So whether I'm cooking this hog out here at the Kansas Speedway or somebody's up in their backyard, it's the same thing. You just got to know that, know that time and that temperature, and you're, you'll be money every time. All right, Rob, sounds like we're going to be coming to your house next weekend for, uh, for a hog roast. What do you think, buddy? I, he, Rob's he, over here taking Matt notes. And, He's and got it. Fergalicious is welcome anytime. I don't know if you're going to want to eat, though, what I can grill. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much, Matt.